Well, as you may or may not know, just last month, the FAA issued the first permit for the agriculture use of unmanned aerial vehicles, more commonly referred to as UAVs. Experts in the industry say once government regulations are put into place, agriculture could account for 80% of all commercial drone use across the U.S. Now, for some, this may come as a surprise. Not the case, though, for researchers at Middle Georgia State College in Eastman, Georgia. As you're about to see, they've been preparing for the new wave of UAV technology for quite some time. Well, the Eastman campus of Middle Georgia State College is probably one of the best kept secrets in the state. That's true to some extent, but in terms of being a player in the research and development of UAV technology, Middle Georgia State is well respected in the industry. Since 2010, they've worked with numerous companies developing different types of platforms, from UAVs used for recreational use to something as high tech as this. We've built uh, twin engine, jet turbine, uh, UAVs. Uh, we've uh, operated in the national airspace system dozens of times under FAA uh, certificates of authorization or COAs. Uh, we've been doing research at multiple airports, multiple agricultural test sites around the state. Uh, we've been flying over various research crops. Uh, we, we've had the benefit of being able to partner with other universities and different commercial UAV companies uh, to develop some of the different technologies out there. So we, we get to do some pretty cool stuff. According to Dennis, one of the project's biggest milestones took place in 2012 when the FAA granted Middle Georgia State special permission to operate a test flight in Class D airspace. Class D is defined as airspace up to 4,000 feet above airport elevation surrounding those airports that have an operational control tower. We found out later on that that was the first time in the country that had been approved. And back earlier, in the summer of 2014, we were approved for our first beyond line of sight operations with that aircraft uh, from the ground. We still have to use a chase aircraft to follow it, but we can uh, actually take the aircraft and fly it approximately four nautical miles northwest of the airport uh, on a specific pattern as long as we can keep an aircraft following it. With UAV use expected to increase tenfold in the coming years, Dennis tells me that Middle Georgia State is already developing career programs and UAV training for its students, something they expect to be up and running by the fall. Well, the market's continuously expanding. I mean, we're foreseeing over 2,500 jobs in the state of Georgia over the next 10 years directly related to UAVs. And we're seeing a lot of universities just now starting to really spool up, develop academic programs that are going to support the demand the market's going to have for experienced operators, experienced maintainers, uh, and, and of course Middle Georgia State College, we're right there at the forefront of that phase as well. There's also cooperative efforts with other schools throughout the state. The Specialty Crop Research Initiative, SCRI, uh, UGA was awarded a grant to do a provisional stage one check into the use of UAVs into specialty crops. So we've, this past year, Georgia Tech, UGA, Middle Georgia State College, uh, and Florida State have been working collectively to go out there and assess this. We've been going to a lot of the different agricultural conferences for different types of specialty crops, uh, especially those targeting precision agriculture. And we've been giving presentations, educating on what we're currently doing, and soliciting ideas for things that, that could be practical applications for farmers. It's one thing for me as an aviation professional to say, this is what the farmer needs. It's another thing for me to go and ask the farmer, will this be of value to you? Or if not, what will be of value to you? Well said, and a huge thanks to Chad for uh, showing us around there that day. Very, very interesting program they got going on down there. 